You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Penny Moreau and Lynn Robertson. And it turns out if more than 40 people quit, you do have to resign. Oh. Well, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you been up to this week, Lee? Stuff. Just stuff. <laughs> the panic's looking in your like face. Like working and stuff. Like working and stuff. I resigned. Uh huh. And then went back. So you're still doing, you've resigned, but you're still working. I just wanted to make notice. a point. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, fair enough. What have you got in the showbiz? Well, this week, Mark, I've got an absolutely fabulous story. Oh. For you. Just for me. Just for you, it's nobody very else. Kind. Oh, very lovely. On screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us if you want to. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The Could.tv is our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out and touched us on social media traverse along the bottom of the screen, we go over to Mike and the Buzz. Got any regrets? Just a few. But then again, too few to mention. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did what I did there. I, I know, I know, I know yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm talking about an Instagram model who has mm. got absolutely no, no regrets whatsoever after getting a tattoo. Where did, where did they get it? Um, well, they got a tattoo of their eyes. On their eyes? On their eyes, oh, right? And it made them go blind, so they can't see anymore. What an ironic... If, 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 uh, if Alanis oh, I can't speak today. <laughs> if Alanis Morissette was sat here, she'd be singing. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? That was a... <laughs> <laughs> it took a long time to get to that joke. took a long time joke. to get to that joke. Oh, yeah. she's pretty. So Amber Luke, who's got um, over 90... Um, percent of her body, 98 percent of her body is covered in tattoos. Oh. So I had to get her eyeballs um, tattooed. As you do. Right. Um, she spent, so far, she spent over 250,000 Australian dollars on getting these tattoos. Right. And it went a little bit wrong um, to the point where she was crying blue tears. Nice. Yeah. I mean, do I have sympathy? No. No? No. Um, so can she see it ever again, or is she, she can blind now forever? See. So, um, so she put on that she was completely incapable of being independent um, while she was blind. She was um, unable to see for over three weeks. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it took four syringes of dyes into each eyeball. I'm going to be controversial here, Mike. Okay. So, um, <laughs> your body is your body. You can do with it whatever you choose. Uh -huh. You can tattoo it, you can pierce it, you can modify it. That is completely your choice. You can right. shave little bits off and sell them on eBay. Yeah, you can do whatever you want to it. But if you do something to yourself through your own choice uh -huh. that results in you having to have medical treatment, uh -huh. say if, it, if, I don't know about Australia, whether they have the version of the, the, the NHS, do they have like private stuff? It's private right, healthcare. Okay. But right. they do have some government intervention with Medicare right, and okay. stuff. So if she was English mm -hmm. and... Messed her eyes. Why, why did I like go like that when I, my mouth is just filled <laughs> just all say, the time? You swear all the all time. All the time. If if she was in England and she had, she had done that to herself, uh -huh. I would go right. You now owe the NHS this amount of money because we have had to treat you for something that you inflicted on yourself mm -hmm. um, that you shouldn't have really done. Because you know tattooing your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. But then you also have the the point of going so. People that go away to different countries for cosmetic surgery, do they have mm. the same treatment? Yeah. Right, because they've done it themselves. Yeah. Right, so it stands on a nail. Do they then have to pay because they've done it themselves? No, they do it on purpose. Yeah, what about smokers? That's well, we all know about that. Well, in fact, now um, they do say we won't operate on you until you've given up smoking. That's been for a while, but it's still, they're, they're paying. Mm. The NHS is paying for it. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying, just, Mike. I'm coming out with a controversial thought, but nothing <laughs> to back it up, Mike. <laughs> no, I'm I just, just saying think it, I just think, you know, do what you want to yourself. But if, it, if you mess it up, mm. you, you're the one who has to pay to correct it. I'm just being harsh today. You are. And it looked ridiculous. It, it didn't look good, to no. be fair. She looks a little bit blue. What does she do for a job? I'm interested because... She's an Instagrammer. Oh. She's an influencer. <sighs> You know what I've taken to liking at the moment? It is oh. related to that. No. They get people that are covered in tattoos uh -huh. on YouTube and then they completely body make makeup them and cancel out all their tattoos and then and, and show them what they look like. 
And in my opinion, all of them look far better. But you know, that's just my Yeah, opinion. but you know, you get makeup on your collar, you'd have it all over your sheets as well. Oh yeah, no, not, not forever, because you couldn't do it, okay. could you? But just to see. But if they're happy with how they look, that's all that matters. Yeah, whatever. I'm not body shaming people for their choices. No, I am though. Uh, well, that's a brave choice, Lee. Um, someone wearing that brooch. Um, so, <laughs> next story. It's a fact. Uh-huh. I'm not saying it's not a fact. I'm saying the brooch is hideous. The next story is about doctors in Turkey. There's a theme. There's a theme. There's, There's a medical a theme. theme. You like a medical theme. I do. Yeah, like po popping zits. No, I don't like those. And holes in skin. I don't like those either. You don't like holes in skin? No. So this story is about doctors in Turkey. Uh -huh. Um, who have removed 233 coins, batteries and screws from a man's stomach. Has he eaten them? Well, obviously. No, no. while he was asleep, they <laughs> crawled up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he consumed them. That's, that's like um, a recognised medical condition, isn't it, when you eat things that you're not supposed to? Mm -hmm. um, but he'd, he'd, go in, he'd gone to the doctor saying, I've got abdominal pain. All right, they scanned him and went, Oh, there's a big mass in there. Ooh. So they opened him up to take out the mass and went, hang on a minute, these are all things. Ooh. So would you treat that on your regime? Have you done it yourself? Are you tough? It's a, it, it's a fine line of, of um, mental health okay. here because I do know that, that there is a specific name and I don't know what it is, but people have, there is a, there is a mental health condition where people eat things. Um, it's it, it, I don't know why they do it. It's just, you know. Okay, so <laughs> what they've actually said, um, this is unintentional ingestion of foreign objects. Unintentional? Yeah. That's what they've said. So he's accidentally swallowed all these things. This is why I keep giving him sandwiches. In these, they're really, <laughs> I don't know what these sandwiches, they're really crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> Got no teeth left whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, they've taken out everything um, from a 35-year-old man. Right, and he feels much better now. Well, it would have... Batteries. Batteries. You see, that's very dangerous because the, the, the acid could leak into his, his body and... Lithium. Lithium. Mm, and not mm. the good kind. Gosh. Is he, is he alive still or is he, is, he, is he still with us? He is still with us. Okay. They've, they've removed all of the bad things. And then they said, don't eat any more of those things. <laughs> yeah, don't do it again. Okay. Because, <laughs> mm. yeah, that's how that works. I have a, I have a rare... Feeling of compassion, which is unsettling me. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like I've just felt my heart go thud. <laughs> no, I hope he gets. I hope he gets follow up. The treatment that he treatment needs. that he needs to, to stop that. Whereas if you just inject, if you just tattoo in your eyeballs, go f yourself. And if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Could TV, and our website is the Could TV. And that brings us quite nicely over to our story of the week. Now, how do you feel about astrology? And the spirits and the supernatural. Oh, I'm into that. Into that. Into that. Into that. Into that. Into that. Ooh, the veil between the here and the now. Well, there's a fortune teller in the UK. Mm. Who Is it a patchoul and grow? Huh? Is it a patchoul and grow? Patchoul and grow? Patchoul and grow. The most well-known family of fortune tellers in the UK. Um, no, it's not, is it? Packington is a surname. Oh, okay. No. Um, Jemima Packington. Jemima Packington. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you'd enjoy that name. Um, who has got a nickname of Mystic Veg. Because she predicts things using vegetables. Does she? she does. Yeah. Her favourite is asparagus. Okay. Um, so Jemima 66 um, has said that the spears are pointing towards a decisive victory in the new um, Prime Minister battle. Salad thing, isn't it? <laughs> she she says that Defence Secretary Ben Wallace is going to take over, according to her asparagus. How does the asparagus know this? She, <laughs> so what she says, right, she tosses it into the air and predicts the future based on how they land. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Right, asparagus is expensive. Did she grow it herself? It's out of season as well. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's expensive. That. So that's, you know, an expensive way of telling the future. Right? I want us to have a go. But cost of living crisis. So we don't have asparagus. Do we not? No. 
Not some spring onions. Oh, okay. Because my thought process is they're long and they're green as well. Oh, okay. Are these, have you grown these yourself? No, I've bought them in a, in a famous supermarket. Oh, That okay. may or may not rhyme with Thasda. Okay. Would you like a go to fortune telling using some spring onions? What do you do? You just throw them in, in and see how they land and then predict the future from them. So what can you see from that? That is, predict? that is telling me that you are not going to have sex for the rest of the year. Oh, okay. I'm going to have a go. Oh, that's predicting I'm going to have bad breath. It's all from the buzz this week. Mine came true. Wow. It was a week thinking up that. <sighs> Gross. Mm. Anyway, thank. Stop it. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Mike. Um, oh God, it's just like having a really irritating child. <laughs> That's a pleasure as always, Lee. But next, we've got him in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Mike. Lee. Would you like some Drag Race news? No. You're going to get it because um, it has to. So Drag Race UK Series 4 is mm. due to hit our screens this September. Oh. It's already been recorded. I kind of think I know who at least two of the drag queens are. What name? Uh, uh -huh. And both man. Because I have I have an ins I have an insight. <laughs> called me ugly at a drag show. Really? Yeah. I laughed in the face because I was drunk. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we've not been confirmed yeah. or denied, but I have I have insiders that know things. But you know, anyway, so. You've been snooping, have snooping, you? Snooping, I have. So, they're, 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 so it's all done and dusted, recorded. Oh. NDNAs, whatever. NDNAs? Is that what they're called? Non disclosure agreements. Oh, yeah. well, I thought I got it wrong. NDAs. Um, I've been signed. So, There's no an extra N in there, so I don't want an NDNA. Oh, is, okay. But... Um, so, Joanna Lumley. 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 Uh -huh. Dame That's... Joanna Lumley uh -huh. is reported to be one of the judges on the next season. Um, she is a national treasure, and they've they've tried to get her on for years and years and years. Um, but apparently, she's done it. It's all it's all been all been signed, all been filmed. Well, it's all been filmed, so she's been on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're all really really excited. Um, she's seventy six. I know seventy six. We've got a, we've got a picture here of of a of a montage of of all the Joanna Lumleys um, over the years. So when she was a model. Mm -hmm. When she was in... Um, when she was Purdy. When she was Purdy. Ab Fab, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the travelling one that she did. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that one is. That was in Jam and Jerusalem. Oh, right, okay. And she was in that. And then that, I think that's one where she's kind of got her damehood or OBE or MBE. For, for all of what she did with the... With, um, um, Burmese home. Yes, she did, yes. Um, so it says, you should done it all. If anyone can dish out handy advice to contestants, it's got to be her. Yeah. So they're kind of like they've like they've kind of like so oh, as well as Joanna Lumley, so she's not she's just a guest judge. She's not there permanently. Oh. Well, that would be really good. It's like getting rid of Grey Morton. Morton. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mel B is going to be on it. Alison Hammond, funny. Tess uh -huh. Daly, why? Uh -huh. um, and AJ Odududu. I like AJ. Okay, they're among the other other judges that are rumored. She, as Joanna, has spoken previously about a connection with the LGBTQIA community. She says she's never been made more welcome mm -hmm. by a group of people in her life. We have got a picture of her and um, uh, Jennifer Saunders with lots of drag quite famous drag queens. There, we've yeah. got um, Jody Harsh. Yeah, everybody's welcome in my house. Yes, and then I don't know the others, but then the one in green. That's the one that was on Lavoie. the Lavoie. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well researched. This. Well like, researched. Yeah. Don't know who yeah. these ones are in the yeah. background. And this, but that this one's is the name I can't quite pronounce. <laughs> this and that just one's a, a not just a Saturday afternoon. It's it was at the launch of the absolutely fabulous film a couple of years ago. Um, a couple of years ago. Couple of years. Is it more than a couple? Is it about seven, six, seven years ago? Oh, no, it's not that long ago, is it really? Mm. Well, well. And and sort of Joanna's sort of announcement that she's going to be just comes after. The Vivian, who did 
Patsy Stone as a character in Snatch Game in, in All Stars 7. Yeah. And <laughs> tanked. Did you not appreciate her, Patsy Stone? And was the look was good. Yeah, but the impersonation was awful. Very good. Um, she just went Chanel, Chanel Sweetie, over and over and over again. Yeah. Compared to the other drag queens who who were, far well, I'm sorry, you're up against um, Jinx Monsoon. The, yeah, hands down. Yeah, every single time. Sad times. But Patsy Stone is a gift that I use. A gift. Yeah. Whenever someone's like, "Ask how old I am." Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm 39. I'll sue. Yes. Because it's true. It is. It is. I am 39. You are. Mm. So, yeah, that, so that's, that's something to look forward to in the September as the leaves are turning brown. And the sky is grey. Yes. Are you going for a walk on that winter's day? Yeah. But it'll be autumn. Oh, okay. It won't, won't be winter. Gonna step into a church. Yeah. Start along the way. Mm, yeah. Anyway, let's move Get on. Get down on your knees. And suck a massive. <laughs> that's the lyrics, isn't it? Not in a church. Here for my confession. Um, <laughs> let's move on. Forgive me, Father, for I have... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not going to say what was that. No, because no. Um, so, EastEnders. EastEnders. I have to admit, I haven't watched... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was, I probably haven't watched EastEnders in about 25 years. It's just, uh, you know... Dirty Den's dead. Yeah. Is Rowley still with us or has he been... Rowley's still with oh, us, yeah. Is he? Yeah. And Little Willie. No, they're not. Okay. Anyway, it's EastEnders, uh, hot on the hot on the, the cultural pulse, uh, are introducing their first ever drag queen character. Okay. Into the soap. So, a new resident called Felix Baker, who is played by Matthew Morrison, Ooh. will be known as his drag persona of Taramisu. Now, I quite like. That. Quite funny. <laughs> I thought you did. That's that. quite funny. We've got a picture of of the character here. So, um, yeah. So Tara is posing in front of the iconic Albert Square sign, wrapped in a fabulous teal gown, fishnets, and a pearl purse. Um, yeah. Is that a pearl necklace we've got there? She also has a pearl necklace as well. Yeah. 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 So they arrive in the in Albert Square alongside. Um, some new other characters. So she's, it's like a family. The whole a whole not a drag family, but a, an actual biological family. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. it makes sense. Um, so Avery and Finley, her her brothers, um, they say it's guaranteed to stir things up in Sol Walford this summer. Yeah, so we've got a picture of the, the family here. Mm -hmm. um, they're not unattractive gentlemen. No. Um, yeah, what, what the actor um, says is that it's a privilege to represent the LGBTQIA community and to showcase a creative art of drag to both viewers at home and the residents of Walford. Are they LGBTQI plus themselves? I'm assuming so. Uh, it has not been confirmed or denied. I would think they probably are. Okay. Um, I mean, EastEnders does have quite a, a long history of LGBTQIA representation. They were one of the first soap the, operas that featured. They were the first, in fact. Yeah, Gay Kiss, mm -hmm. storyline about HIV. Um, yep. Yeah. That, that went on for a long time as well. It That's did. They did it really well. Mm. Um, I'm not an EastEnders fan. No. It's not enough to make me want to tune in to watch it. No, I'm not going to be tuning in. Um, I'll, I'll hear about it from my mum. But... Is she a fan of the Stenders? Yeah. Mm. Well, you know, everybody, you know. Everyone's got their faults. Everyone's got their faults, yeah. Um, final bit of showbiz news. Uh-huh. Beyonce. Bianca K. Bianca K, the Yons. She. I thought you were calling her something else then. <laughs> I'm like, you can't call Beyonce that. Yons. That's a slur. Bebe. She's about to drop her new album, as the kids say. Um, yeah, she, her, her new... <laughs> She's about to drop her thought. She's dropped her thought. Um, her, her new album's called Renaissance, and um, apparently it's allowed her to find escape during a scary time for the world. She also says that the, she hopes the album can release the wiggle in people. Away from a world of perfectionism. The, the wiggle. I don't know what that is. The, the Australian kids entertainers. Not those. Are they in prison? I don't know. <laughs> um, so <laughs> You're showbiz. So why do you not know this? So on a post on Instagram, um, she shared a picture of the artwork. Um, it's a seventh, seventh album. I didn't know she'd had that many albums. We released at the end of July. This is a picture of the album. Now she's a, atop a horse. Okay. Um, a see-through horse. Now... When I saw this picture, mm -hmm. I went, right, quote from Sex and the City, when Miranda had her baby and Carrie went to visit her and Miranda was feeding her baby, she went, your breasts are huge. I don't remember her having such big bosoms. When have you seen her bosoms before? 
but just in general, in photographs and stuff, do we think do we think she's had some work done? I think that might be a bit photoshopping. Do you think? They're they're beautiful bosoms. I mean, I'm not somebody who I wouldn't motorboat, but I'm I can appreciate a bosom. Because she's talking about how you know, everyone's got these little wiggles and little dints and things. And then she's right? immaculately and she's airbrushed. She's immaculately airbrushed. Yeah. Mm. So she's saying, creating this album allowed me a place of, to dream and to find escape during a scary time for the world. Does she mean the pandemic? I think she does, yes. Not, not just like a Saturday shop. <laughs> not, not that. Um, she said in the next <laughs> sale on Boxing Day. <laughs> yeah. It allowed me to feel free and adventurous in a time when little else was moving. She goes on blah, blah, blah like that for quite a while. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, she's recently released a single from the, for the album with, with pre fans praising solidarity. See, I have an issue with this. So the song is called Break My Soul, and um, it's about... Um, <laughs> She missed a trick there where she could have called it Break Our Souls. Well, yeah. We've got a picture of the video of what one of the outfits that she wears in the video. Um She's not she's not she's she's react she's not having a yeah. We've Words. Got, we, just, <laughs> the, it's it's there's a net body stocking. There's uh -huh. yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on there. So it samples 1990s Club Smash Show Me Love by Robin S. But okay. people are kind of like saying, so the song's about giving up your job, going like, that's it, I'm not working. I've I've had enough, I'm going. Okay. When people have said, Baby, have you had a job in your life? Yeah. Being a pop star's really hard work. It is. It's out there counting your money. Yeah. So that's that's picking that's, up of new names for children. North? No, she doesn't. That's, that, Kardashian. that's Kardashian. There's one hook. Blue, blue Ivy. Blue Ivy and Grey Ivy and Poison Ivy. And... Yeah. I'll be, I'll be looking forward to that. Kind of. Yeah. That's the end of this week's Showbiz News. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Um, I'm 39! But stick around, because coming up next we have our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Fast Behind. And this is for the man who's so about fashion he's a total fascist. It's Lee. Off you pop. What's with the face? Game of the Week. I have an array of questions for you, Lee. Mm. Okay. Um, would you like history and religion, science and invention, arts and music, Entertainment and celebrity, sports and pastimes, geography and nature. What, are the, what were the choices again? I wasn't listening. Come at high history, science and history. So, arts and music. Mm -hmm. Which Rolling Stones track was their first number one hit single in the USA? Um, Brown Sugar. Can't get no satisfaction. Oh, okay. I, was, I thought that. Um, I thought they would have liked. Um, have worked the way up to that one. <laughs> worked the way up to their first number one with other number ones. Yeah. No. Okay. So, would you like science and history? That's history and religion, even. Science and invention, entertainment, sport, or geography? Entertainment. Which TV celebrity became a father for the third time? in 2014 following the birth of the daughter Amelia, not Marcos. Elder Marcos as well. Ooh, in 20 what? 14. Um, Michael Bublé. Insania. Who? Oh. It's Insania. It was Peter oh, Lombard. right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mysterious girl. No, his son's got a song out and it's a, it was at number one in the streaming charts. Oh, that's nice. History. Repeating. Did you know that Ronan Keating's son is currently in Love Island? I did know that. He's also a little bit attractive because he's in Love no, Island. No, he's not. He looks like a boy. I said a little bit attractive. I didn't say I'd... It's like a little boy. I think it, you know, when 90s pop stars and footballers, children, are old enough to go into Love Island, it's time for me to just cross that bridge and go into the light and just go, Insane. Lord. 
have been waiting. <laughs> what would you like? Geography, nature, sport, the arts, science, invention? Uh, geography and nature. Oh, that's cool. I'm often go for geography and nature. Which holiday island is situated in the Bay of Nipples? Nipples? Naples. Naples. Mm -hmm. Venice. Capri. Ah, oh, where the pants come from. As do the sunny drinks. Yes. This little pouchy drink. I do. I, I like wearing a Capri pant. <laughs> I, was drinking. A, I like wearing a Capri sun. <laughs> I was going to say, like to wear that wouldn't be a weirdest fashion choice either. And drink a lovely chilled Capri sun. History and religion, science and invention, um, sports. History and religion. Ah. Who was executed in 1587 in Fotheringay Castle? Ooh, was that was it Queen Elizabeth I? Nope, she was Ooh. not executed. Was she not? No, she died old and alone. She died of oldness. Old and alone with many cats. Ooh. Was it? You probably got, you got it wrong. You can't keep guessing until you get it right. Was it one of, was, was it, it Simon Le Bon? No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> was it Mini Driver? <laughs> <laughs> it was Mary, Queen of Scots. Oh, okay. Yes. Famously re re wore a red dress. That's the colour of martyrdom. Did she have the red hair and the white face? No, that was once again Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth I. I. Okay. Okay. Um, sports and pastimes, science and invention. Science and invention. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> the patella, that's patella, not paella, is which bone in the human body? It's your, um, it's your forearm bone. No, it's not. Radius and ulna. That's your, that's your, that's your forearm bones. Radius and ulna. Patella. Patella. Oh. Is it? Is it your bone? <laughs> I have to ask that question. Um, where is it, Mike? Your kneecap. Oh! Okay. Yeah, so very close to your arm. Yes. In a way that you were wrong altogether. Right, so you get a new choice of geography, sports, entertainment, art, science, and history. I'm going to go for entertainment again, please. Did you do so well on all of these? I do, yes. Which member of One Direction? Direction. Diet erection made his debut for football team Doncaster Rovers in February 2014. Oh, it's one of the ones that's that, that, that's career flop, solo career flopped. Um, Sorry, not Harry Styles. Not Harry Styles. <laughs> not the one that left um, before they broke up. Not the one that had a baby with um, with Sharon Cole and Missy Little Ups in the shops. New. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Louis Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, <laughs> Louis Tomlinson. Louis <laughs> I'm taking Louis Walsh your first answer. <laughs> he was in the showers waiting. <laughs> Louis Walsh. A member of One Direction. It was Louis Tomlinson. Oh. I'm sure he was. I know we were meant. Yeah, I'm glad you did. <laughs> Okay, so what would you like now? We've got um, nature, pastimes, music, invention, religion. Um, pastimes. What is the English meaning of Lego, the children's toy that originated in Denmark? The meaning of Lego? The meaning of the word Lego. Brick, plastic brick. Not what is it, what's the meaning of the word? Lego. But yeah, the word Lego. Plastic brick. <laughs> Lego means plastic brick. It means play well. <laughs> I'm loving the fact you're getting angry about this, you're not knowing your answer. Okay. Um, so you would religion, invention, music, nature. So some music. Makes the people come together according to Madonna. Makes the bourgeoisie and the rebel. Right, which ex beetle had a huge, huge chart success with Pipes of Peace? Paul McCartney. Bingo star. No it wasn't! It was Paul McCartney, yeah. Do, 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 pipes of peace. 
pipes of peace. He's spinning his grave right now. To the pipes of peace. Religion, invention, nature. Let's go for nature. What is the highest mountain on the North American continent? Everest. The only mountain I know. <laughs> Everest. Colorado Beacon. I don't know. I only know one, but I know another one as well. I made that one up, though. Is that a real? That's yeah. not a real mountain. The, Himal the Himalayas is a real the, mountain. No, the the Colorado Beacon. I made that up. Did you? Mm-hmm. Convincing, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't do geography. Um, Mount McKinley. Oh, we'd have never known that. Yeah, which I always thought was something else. Uh, one last one. Um, let's go for religion. Being a good Catholic boy, what I is. Okay, good Catholic boy that you is. In the Bible, who was the first person to see Jesus after he left the tomb? Ooh. And it wasn't the Daily Mail, before you say anything. Ooh, we still got two candidates in mind, and I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, no, you see, I'm not sure, because I have a feeling it might have been that one, or that one, or it might have been an, um, another person that wasn't kind of... I'm going to say, like, a um, soldier who was, like, guarded, guarding the tomb. Soldier. I'm trying to hit here. What? Lady Gaga. Right, and what did she, who did she sing a song about? I'm just a point of fool. Judas. Okay, so what's your answer? Judas. It's Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Do you know what? It was it was Mary Magdalene, yeah. Judas, Pontius Pilate. All in a party. They all got on the bus tour, <laughs> right? They all said, ooh, traffic's a bit. Shall we all go in your car just to make life a little bit easier? Mary Magdalene, me. Pontius Pilate, Judas in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So yeah, that's that's it. I'm not asking you any more questions. That's fine. Just another segment of my life slowly withered away. Slowly withered. <laughs> but after this break, it's time for Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to create something that one person called utter shite as we go to Lee and Crafty Queens. Sad. Why are you sad? I don't think you appreciate the amount of work that goes into this. I appreciate exactly how much work goes into this. <laughs> All four seconds of it. This is cutting. This preparing. You called it things. utter shite. You said, Mike, this is utter shite. It is. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna. We're, 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 we're really proper dredging the the dark web for ideas now. <laughs> dark web. <laughs> I don't think you mean dark web. <laughs> I am. I am. Um, we're, we're gonna make. We're gonna make a noise maker today. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so not the dark web at all then. Yeah. Um, so you've got a variety of shits in front of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, So first of all, I, I perk myself up. Come on, Lee. Let's do it. Um, I've got two corrugated pieces of card. I do. You do. Mine are orange. Mine are blue. I You're a blue. A badai. So and you. So I want you to turn those flat. So the white side is facing up. Okay. Okay? Yes. And then you have two pink pieces of card. I do. Mm-hmm. And I want you to glue those, mm -hmm. one each, onto the white side of the card. Right, okay. And I have I have I have provided you with a glue stick. And a, a non-named a non-brand. Yes. Glue stick. It is somewhat pretty. Got to get all that on there. A bit sticky. Gluey, gluey, glue. Because this is going to be the inside bit of. Now I've got snotty bubbles. Is that okay? Snotty bubbles. As I've glue sticked, it left little snotty things. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Da -da 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 -da. 
know. I was watching. I oh, no, I wasn't watching. I was re mm, What was I doing? Was I reading? Was I looking at it? Was I? I don't know. But it, for some reason, I was consuming this information. Uh -huh. And um, it was about Art Attack. With Neil Buchanan. With Neil Buchanan. Who's not Banksy, yeah. He's not Banksy. Um, somebody was, in, the, in this article, they said he was 67. Yeah. No! Yeah, he's only a year older than you. I know. Um, right, okay, but 67, I, I would have thought he would have been like his, sort of like mid- His 40s in Art Attack, and that was in the Really, was, was it? Like 20 years ago. My goodness. Oh, okay. Right, so now um, we've got, you've got your two little bits of pink. Yep. Right, now you have two metal bottle tops. <laughs> yeah, okay, and then I oh. put one in the pink. I want you to put them in the middle <laughs> with the flat side up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But they kind of need to be in exactly the same place on both pieces of paper. Okay. Okay. So once you've kind of got them roughly in the middle, yeah. just bit of sellotape and sellotape them on. This is sticky tape, yeah? Yeah, some sticky tape. Oh no. What? Lost the edge. Last time we used tape, you lost the edge. I did. It's ridiculous. It, it would took think... 15 minutes for you to find the edge again. I can see it. It's there. <laughs> That's good. Right, I've, I've got, got it. I've on. got it. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, it's done that thing. You know, when it's... <sighs> Take it out of the thing. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! Right, okay. Taking a selfie of yourself, Mike, while I'm. Um, I am, yes. When I'm struggling. Yes. Right, I found oh, it. There we go. Right. Now, what you're going to do uh -huh. is. Um, bit of glue on the edges of both pieces of paper, card. Okay. All four edges. Well, just two edges, because one's going to stick to the other, aren't they? I would liberally apply this. Liberally. So just along the top and the bottom, then? No, the sides. So all four sides of one piece? No. Just two. One side. One here. Yeah. One there. Not all, all of it. Right, so just the top and the bottom. Just the top and the bottom, yeah. Which I said, and you said no to. Have you glued all of them? No, I, I was asking questions, and you said yes, and then no. So I got <laughs> all four sides, yes. So all on one piece, no. Don't get churlish. Not churlish when you don't tell the right instructions. <laughs> oh, find the end of your cellar tape. Let's. Um, so then take take your one of your pieces of of card. Uh huh. Place it on top of the other one. Line it up with the. Um, now we're going to give it. We're going to give it life. We're going to give it character. I'm gonna dip it in petrol. Set on fire. <laughs> You've got a long red strip. I have a long red thing. Yes. That is going to be a tongue. Okay. So if you want to curl it, to kind of make it look a little bit like chameleon-like or frog-like, you could do that. Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to put a bit of glue on on the underside of that. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. And then just pop it, slide it in till it meets one of the um, lids. So where did you around. get these lids from, Lee? Where did I get these lids from? Mm -hmm. um, at the back of the cupboard, there was a four pack of um, snowballs. Oh, Advocat. Uh, which which were considerably out of date. I don't think anyone owns snowballs at all. <laughs> that, that I thought, oh, I need those. So I, I poured them away, Bank cleared the sink out like that. The vomit. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that's why. Right, so now you have, we're gonna, well, I'm just gonna set that one aside. So we're gonna get the, the two sort of half circle Bush white ups. bits. Yeah. Yeah. So you want the white sides facing up, okay? And you have two white mushroom head. little felt black. Pac Man. Yeah, like little Pac Man. Now you want the the, the, the one with this. Well, it's up to you, really. You can have the star side up, star side down. I'm going to have star side down, and then glue the a bit of glue on those into the 
in. <laughs> so what, 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 am I going to need to? I wasn't listening. No, you weren't, were you? No, it makes a change from it being you not listening. <laughs> So glue at either side, whichever side you want. If you want the star sides up, have the star side up. You just want the black side. They're facing together, yeah? Whichever way you want. It's your creation. You can give it whatever. My creation. Whatever. Whatever. It's down bit. Is it my creation? Creation. Creation. It's your creation. <laughs> whatever you want, lad. Right? I didn't sound that northern. <laughs> you did. You've got two little gems. Two yeah. little diamante gems. Yeah. Pop them. No, they're self-adhesive. Self-stick, self yeah. Yeah. Although mine's just pulled the plastic out the sticky off it, so yeah, I'll so it's right. it. And then stick those as like a catch light into the... As a what? Catch light. A catch light? Yeah, so that's like the catch light of your eye. A catch light. Onto the... Um, like a Pac-Man. These self-adhesive things are so self-adhesive, they've stuck themselves to the backing plastic. Yeah, yeah that's not good, is it? Done that. Yeah. Okay, now the yellow bits on the uh -huh. mushroom, you're going to fold in on themselves. Okay. So backwards. And you're going to stick those, bit of glue on those and stick those. Yeah. Either side. Whoop. Sort of the way the, where mine is. Uh huh. Tongue sticking out the front. Yeah. Eyes. Eyes out the back. The poor, the poor back. Oh, it, it won't stick. I might have to sell a tape. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna. <laughs> this is the big. This is the fine. This is the the end. <laughs> this is the end. Thank the you. end. Right. You pick it up. Uh huh. And then you can make it go. You know what? This is probably one of the better ones you've ever done. Because <laughs> it's actually, it's not just some random. You can pop that on a shelf. <laughs> this. It's going to irritate your nuts off. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Yeah. Look at that, a frog boy. <laughs> How are the gallery enjoying this, this noise? They love it. Yeah. They're loving it. Well, simple but effective, I think you'll find. Uh huh. Just and like you. Yeah, that's the end of this week's craft. Remember, remember, as always, if you can't get a hold of any pain, don't get hold of any pain. <laughs> <laughs> that's got that's got more specific sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get hold of any pain or oh. fist any vagine. We could always be a crafty queen. I wouldn't want to fist a vagine. That's very that's aggressive. Um, if you can't, <laughs> but, but grabbing a pain isn't. If you, can't get any, if you can't get any pain or any vagine, be a crafty queen. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Really? That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Put your finger in. Put your finger in. Put your finger in.